Hey YouTube, Scapegoat here, and today we are going over some Rush Duel news. I kind of compiled it all into one so we're not, you know, making multiple videos on singular cards. Uh, but pretty much we're going to go over the pack art for this card, and then we have two little kind of uh, archetype of cards, I guess, and then uh, just some anime cards. So these are the, um, well, this is the Rush Duel main character, right? Uh, Yuga, I think. And then that's our Roman sister, like the cool new uh, green-haired anime dude. Uh, I'm not too sure what he's gonna play. Uh, his name's Roa, I guess. Um, and it says flap your wings and follow your road. So I don't know if he's playing a bird deck, uh, but that's the pack art. So let's just get on to the like the meat of the conversation. Uh, we are looking at some dinosaurs. Everybody loves dinosaurs. Some dino DNA. Uh, so we do have a regular Mega Zowler, right? That's a card used by Rex Raptor. It's just, you know, vanilla, level 6, earth monster, 1800 attack, and 2000 defense. You know, just tribute summon, summon this out. I don't think it's too worth it to have this card in your deck, uh, unless all the other cards do something crazy. Um, and it has the flavor text, nothing stands in the way of this spike-covered dinosaur. Uh, here's the new effect monster, and it's kind of like rainbow rare, so let's hope it's a good card for rush duels. Uh, so Super King Rex, level 8 earth dinosaur effect monster, 2500 attack and tw uh, 2000 defense. Uh, and the requirement is during the main phase in which this card is normal or special summoned, you can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard to activate this effect. Use one normal monster, level 6 or lower, in your graveyard and special summon it in face up position. So that's really good, right? So he is pretty much one of like the Debris Dragon type of cards, right? So I guess you could theoretically play, uh, play this card if you wanted to and get it back with this card. But uh, obviously, if, you, if you're playing too many Tribute Monsters, you might not want to do that. You might want to have a lot of good high level dinosaur monsters, uh, high attack dinosaur monsters with lower levels just to get more utilization out of this effect. And if you can manage to keep this card out in the field, you can keep getting monsters and like blow through your opponent pretty quickly. I know rush duels are pretty fast and it's pretty easy to get cards off the field and wipe the board and draw new resources, but this is still a pretty good card. And then we do have a trap. Traps are pretty strong in rush duels. Uh, so it's called Spirit Shackles. Normal trap card requirement. You can activate when your opponent's monster declares an attack. Uh, until the end of this turn, the attacking monster will lose 100 attack for the number of monsters of the same type as that monster in the opponent's graveyard. So somebody who's playing let's say a dinosaur deck, right? You're going to lose 100 attack for each number of dinosaurs in your graveyard. So that's pretty good. Uh, so that's it for the dinosaurs. I actually think it's pretty cool and I like the art. It's got a bunch of crystals growing on it. So it's pretty neat. Uh, the next card is called Innocent Lancer. Uh, it is a fire monster pyro, level six, 1700 attack, 900 defense. The requirement is to send one card from your hand to the graveyard. This turn, the effects, uh, this card inflicts piercing damage uh, when it attacks the defense position monster. Uh, so not that great, right? It's just a piercing monster with a high level. Uh, so I don't know, I don't think that's gonna be too great. Uh, but he does look pretty cool. It's kind of like uh, piercing his spear to the ground and like kind of like fire or sparks or something. So it's pretty cool. And then we have a bunch of anime cards from the recent episode with the uh, ramen fighter a pretty interesting archetype. I know the ramen cards are already in the game, right? For rush duels at least. And then there's a few other cards we see, so let's look at them. Uh, so we have a trap called Magic Fire Guard. It's a normal trap requirement is uh, when uh, you can activate this card when your opponent declares an attack. Use one face up spellcaster type monster on your type of, on your field. Uh, during that turn that monster cannot be destroyed in battle. So it pretends, uh, prevents destruction of battle. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we do see another ninja mass fury noodle ninja barcada level four fire pyro normal monster a thousand attack 1200 defense so nothing too special about that uh we have a goblin looking card art of mast fiery noodle heartburn inducing pork roast fat it's a very interesting name <laughs> uh, normal spell card you can activate this card if there's a face-up monster pyro type on your field Use one face-up monster your opponent controls until the end phase. That monster loses 400 times the number of face-up pyro monsters you control. So I th I'm assuming uh, the, the ramen is a pyro. I don't remember if the other one was a pyro. Uh, it looks kind of similar, so maybe. 
Oh, that's pretty interesting. So it's like an instantaneous card to make your opponent lose attack so you can attack over the monster. So it's pretty okay. And then we have another similar looking noodle card. It is uh, called Art of Masked Fire Noodle Drawing Out the Rich Tasty Flavor Reversal. I have no idea what they're doing with these names. Uh, normal spell card requirement. You can activate this card by sending cards from your hand to the graveyard equal to the number of mo uh, normal monsters you control. Draw cards equal to the number of cards sent to the graveyard by this effects requirement. So, what do you think? It's just like, uh, discard some cards and draw a number equal to? Um, yeah. So, uh, you're like losing advantage? I don't really know. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter in Rush Duels because you're drawing the same amount every turn uh, up until the number of five. So, uh, it's just to cycle through your deck a little more, I guess. So, maybe. Maybe it's good. I don't know if you want those cards in the graveyard. Maybe there's like reborn cards. Uh, so it's a normal, another normal spell. It's Art of Mast Fiery Noodle Scorching, Scorching Burner. Uh, requirement, there's none. Effect is until the end of this turn, all face up pyro monsters on your field gain 100 attack for the number of normal monsters in both players graveyard. Well, that's an okay effect. I don't think it's necessarily the best one. Uh, you do get an attack boost, so you can attack over some big foes, and this deck doesn't really look like it has uh, too many beaters in it, yeah, they're very low attacking monsters, so they kind of need all these support cards. Um, and they have one last trap, it's called Art of Vast Fiery Noodle Cooking Pot. Normal trap requirement is activate after your opponent activates a monster effect of a level 7 or higher monster, it's very specific. Uh, effect is choose one face-up monster your opponent controls. It loses a thousand attack until the end phase of this turn. Then you gain 500 life points. So you gain life points. Uh, the monster loses a thousand attack. Uh, I mean, it looks like this deck's focused on like attack and you know modification stuff like that. Uh, so I don't think it's like the best deck to use in Rush Duel, maybe. But it is like one of the first um, like archetype specific decks, right? As we know, Yuga has like the Seven Rose Magician and all that, but he uses a bunch of random cards as well. This deck actually has a bunch of cards that are very thematic and they're very like archetype specific. So that's pretty interesting. It's like one of the first decks we've seen like that so far. Maybe the new character uh, we displayed in the pack will have something similar. Uh, I'm not sure if the uh, card behind them is the character's like main monster or something. I know the opening kind of shows them with another monster too, so. I don't know, let me know how you guys think about that, what you guys think about Rush Duels, and if you think they're going to come to the ECG anytime soon. I know there's a patent out for the logo of Rush Duels or something similar to that, where it is being localized. So let me know what you guys think about that. Would you play Rush Duels if you knew uh, a card like this? or like a, Would you play Rush Duels in general? That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Uh, but let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.